Hello, my name is Richard Horton from The Lancet and it's good to be with you today at a very important moment for the health of the tens of millions of people vulnerable to vaccine preventable diseases. It's really remarkable to reflect that since the World Health Organization established its expanded program on immunization in 1974, Vaccines have prevented the deaths of 154 million children worldwide, adding over 10 billion years of health to those young lives. No other technology or treatment in the history of medicine has ever delivered such an impact. During the past 50 years, the global coverage of vaccines against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, measles, polio and tuberculosis has more than doubled. And there's been a three quarters fall in the number of unvaccinated children. These are truly spectacular achievements and they're achievements that Gavi has played a pivotal part in delivering. But we are now at an inflection point in the history of these successes because childhood vaccination rates are stagnating, leaving quite literally millions of children at unnecessary risk of disease and death. Indeed, in some parts of the world, past gains are being reversed and the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic have only worsened these challenges leaving some regions particularly badly affected. As research we published today from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation in Seattle has shown, half of the 15 million children who've received no vaccines live in just eight countries across Africa, Asia and Latin America. And these inequities in vaccine coverage are simply unacceptable. Now sometimes you will hear people raising questions and concerns about the safety of vaccines. The scientific community has robust procedures and processes for monitoring and investigating all signals of concern about vaccine safety. Indeed, why would we not, given the central importance of vaccine confidence to global public health? But to assess vaccine safety properly, one must take account of the totality of available evidence and not cherry pick single studies that are not representative of the balance of scientific evidence. Today is a special moment to step up and to make the case for investing in vaccines as an invaluable means of protecting the lives of our children, to challenge the spread of misinformation about vaccines so that the public and policy makers have an accurate assessment of vaccine safety and efficacy, and to recommit ourselves to vaccines as one of the greatest benefits to humankind. Gavi deserves our full support and I hope that you will join with me in giving Gavi that support and in doing all that you can to strengthen immunization services for children alive today and for the families of tomorrow. Thank you.